Cloudinary makes it easy to get images into your media library, but what about getting them out? If I'm working inside of a Next.js app, I wanna have the ability to query all the images from within my media library. So let's see how we can use the Cloudinary Search API to query for any of our resources, such as looking for a specific asset by tag, all within a Next.js app using the app router and the Cloudinary Node SDK. The Next.js app router came with some big changes that can help developer experience. This includes the differences between a server and a client component, where a client component would pretty much work the way you would expect a typical React component to work, where you would designate it with this use client directive. On the other hand, server components work a little bit different from how you're used to working with components. Now, one of the benefits here is data fetching, which is what we're going to look into, where we can actually use our server code right in line inside of the component. Now, if we jump back over to the code, by default, our pages and components will be server components. So by default, we don't really need to do anything to opt into server components. But what we can start to think about is how we can turn this home page into an asynchronous component where we can go ahead and just add the async tag right in front of the function name. And what this will allow us to do is add things like await, which will allow us to easily do data fetching right inside of that component. So let's try this out using the Cloudinary Search API. Where to get started, we're gonna use the Node.js SDK. That's right, we're gonna use the Node.js SDK inside of a React component. And after you install, import, and configure the SDK, or if you need help installing and configuring, make sure you check out the video at the link above. We can start to add that SDK code right inside of this asynchronous page component. So if I wanted to run a search through my images, such as if I wanna find any images that include Converse, I can now start writing my code such as constant resources is equal to await cloudinary.search, where I can chain on the expression method, where I can add in Converse, then execute that search. And if I console log out my resources, Whenever my page reloads, we'll be able to see the results right inside of the terminal as it's running on the server, not inside of the browser. So I can see that I do have that one image that includes the name of Converse. Now as something more interesting, what if instead of getting all these images or searching by name, I wanna get everything that includes a tag of sneakers. Back inside of my code, I can now change this from Converse to tags equals sneakers. And we can see that I now get all six of those results. So let's use them inside of our page where currently this is just coming from static data. Further, these are just local files being loaded, so I want to load these images from Cloudinary. But now that my data is inside of my component, I can loop through it or do whatever I want just like I would in any other React component. Now to start, I'm going to destructure resources from this response as ultimately the response came back with a property of resources that includes that array of resources. But now I'm going to update the products map to resources so we can loop through it just the same as we were those other product images. Because we're working in TypeScript, we're gonna now need to type this out where I'm going to reference the Cloudinary resource, which I'm gonna define at the top of the page, including the public ID, which will be a string, and my secure URL, which will also be a string. Where now we need to make sure we update the references to that data. So on our list item key, we can update that to public ID for our unique value, as well as the image source, which is going to be our secure URL. And once the page reloads, we can see that we still have all those images, but now they're being loaded directly from Cloudinary. But now that we've tapped into our Cloudinary data, we can take this a step further, where next we can learn how we can tap into Cloudinary optimizations and transformations by using Next Cloudinary, where we'll see how we can automatically deliver optimized images in modern formats, as well as dynamically crop and size our images right inside of our Next.js app.